we have looked at the reversible uh, electrode direction, the CV. Now let's look at the quasi-reversible, which it means semi-reversible, partly reversible, partly not reversible, or irreversible, which means not reversible uh, electrode direction. So for these types of quasi-reversible or irreversible reactions, we said the kinetics is slow, or the reaction is relatively slow, which means the current will be controlled by both charge transfer kinetics as well as mass transport, the, the bringing of the reactant to the reaction interface, typically by diffusion, if we do not have convection uh, or stirring. So this is example current over potential or CV curve for a hypothetical reaction. And uh, a few observations that we can make. First, as the reaction rate constant decrease, as the reaction rate constant decrease, which means essentially the exchange current density decrease, or as the reaction become more and more sluggish uh, kinetically, from re near reversible to semi reversible to completely irreversible, then the CV peak, as you see, shift to higher over potential. Here we are not plotting absolute potential, we are plotting over potential. So as the reaction become more and more irreversible, the peaks shift to higher over potential value since um, the equilibrium at the electrode surface um, is slow, it's no longer established rapidly, which means it needs time it needs time for the surface uh, reactant to be consumed completely to reach the peak. Remember, the peak is when the surface reactant concentration is exhausted. But because the reaction is getting slower and slower, which means allow more, longer and longer time to consume the reaction species uh, at near the electrode surface. So the potential can be swept to a larger and larger absolute over potential value. Okay. Another related observation is peak separation from the positive anodic and the negative cathodic. The peak separation now changes with scan rate. Now changes with scan rate. Remember clear earlier we said if it's reversible, the peak position between the anodic and the cathodic, the separation between the two is a constant. But if the reaction become more and more reversible, then the peak position will change with scan rate. Um, and similarly, peak current no longer varies with square root of the scan rate. No longer varies with the uh, square root of scan rate. Um, and current peaks are reduced in size. They're getting lower in the absolute value, but they are more widely separated. They become uh, lower and broader, as what we show here, from uh, reversible to semi-reversible to more and more irreversible. Okay, and last one is uh, you would notice, we're not showing here, but you would notice that as the scan rate increases, the irreversible behavior become more and more, and more noticeable, which means for the same reaction, uh, same condition, if you increase the scan rate as if the reaction appears to be more slower and slower, the charge transfer appears to be more slower and slower, uh, and the separation become larger and larger, the peak um, height relatively appear to be lower and lower. Okay, so that is what uh, uh, the CV curves would look like for so-called quasi-reversible or semi-reversible or irreversible, which is uh, not reversible electrode reaction or redox reaction.